So Anna, again, this is just absolutely insane that we are playing politics with real patients' lives. Let me tell you about a patient that I saw the other day who came in severely sick with nausea and vomiting of early pregnancy. She is already a mother. She has a whole family that she's taking care of. She's not able to work because she is so sick with her pregnancy. If she wasn't able to terminate her pregnancy, she told me that she would not be able to make rent and her family would be homeless. So while our politicians are down at the Capitol arguing over an archaic law that has no place in today's society, real women, real pregnant people are absolutely bearing the consequences and are caught in these crosshairs of, of this ridiculous battle. And that's completely unacceptable. Dr. Jill Gibson. And I also want to add one last point that eight out of 10 Arizonans support access to reproductive health care and support access to abortion. And so this decision is not the will of the people. Dr. Jill Gibson, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for giving us some insights into what's happening at Planned Parenthood there in Arizona since uh, the Supreme Court state's decision there. Today, more